I got my first girlfriend when I was six. Her hair was never brushed and her shoes were never clean. And I liked her because she could run faster than most of the boys. She liked me because I could make fart noises with my armpit. And that was true love. Back when I like you and you like me meant we should probably spend more time together. But many years later and it's not so simple anymore. You see, I like her and she likes me and we get on great. But we've decided to take a break before we get too close. She says she can't afford to fall in love with me. Can't risk putting her heart on the line that's been crossed too many times and look, I get it. Because they say that love is a lot like brain surgery. Gives you a fucking sore head. And it sure ain't easy. But it sure used to be, didn't it? Back when schoolyard romances were born of nothing more than awkward glances followed by compulsory Kaylee dances. Back then I could impress you with my knowledge of fine chocolate milks and my ability to burp the alphabet backwards. Back when the most popular game on the playground was Kiss Chase. You see, the boys would run and the girls would race after them and you better run fast because if you get caught, you get kissed by a girl. Eww. I remember thinking I must be really good at that game because I never got caught. Never even got chased. Back when the grand amount in my bank account was nothing more than the jingle of a piggy bank I would take you out to dinner or at least to the sweet shop on the way home from school But listen, you can have whatever you want baby because this one's on me and I've been saving up I've got roughly 17p and a button that fell off my old coat. I hope it's enough If I knew half as much now as I knew back then I would spin you round and round until we both fell to the ground and looked up to see the sky bending before us And I would tell you it's proof that will make this world turn for you. You see, the grown-ups, they called that dizziness, but we called it science, living in defiance of expectations. No one could ever silence our frustrations because back then we were the future. Back then I would make you a mixtape with songs off the radio while hovering over the pause button with my index because we all know it took that ninja reflex to time it just right before the DJ came back in. And I would decorate it with cartoon faces painted in silver glitter because silver is the manliest of the glitters. And I would tell you I liked you and you would say you liked me too because why wouldn't you? It's not until we're older that we develop this ridiculous notion of a type like, uh, I like guys that look like Ryan Gosling. Or I like guys that look like Benedict Cumberbatch. Or I like guys that look like not you. I like guys that act like not you, think like not you, have money like not you, make love like not you. Let's just manufacture a list of criteria that any potential lover must fulfill if they want to get near to you. Forget the inferior and fuck the interior. When will we get past the superficial hysteria and back to the days when we were giants? When every puddle was an ocean and we weren't scared of our own emotions. We don't even climb trees anymore for fear we'll fall out. And I don't know about you, but... I miss the view, so I'm going back. Back to when things were simpler, back to when the risk was always worth the reward. And the next time someone tells me they can't afford to fall in love with me, I'll tell them, I've been saving up. I've got 17p and a button from my old coat. I hope it's enough.